the the steel magnolia thing the 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 reason it's it's so cool i have a i wrote that song with chris stapleton called keep on loving you and so i've got a work tape of chris singing it and he sings it it's, it's just real laid back and it's 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 real slow and it grooves and it's and then uh, i cut it like my band played it live you know about a year later so i've got a copy of that you know with my band it's and it's rocking it's you know it's texas kind of you know it's what we did live on stage and then the to hear what steel magnolia did with it it's just like three totally different planets and 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 it, to me it was just such a great lesson and um in in music in general because it it, it taught me a lot about how uh there's three different artists that, that interpret it three totally different ways. Um, and it did get me out of debt, too. That's, that was a good thing. <laughs> the, the stuff that I've done with Roger Crager, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Roger Craig. Uh, as Just him as an artist and a writer, and he's grown so much. I've, you know, from the time I started listening to his music, probably eight or ten years ago, he just gets better and better, and his voice just gets richer and richer, you know. And it, his interpretation, his he puts all of his life's experiences, and you know when he's singing a song, especially in the studio when he's there's not a bunch of people screaming around him, and he's he he gets kind of real reflective, and and I saw that with his last, you know, this last album especially. I think he, uh, you know, a lot. I think a lot of people, uh, the last album may have thought, you know, we want more songs like Everclear that are just rowdy, brainless, you know, yeehaw kind of stuff. And that's great because we all have plenty of those and we know that that's what gets the party started. But when you see somebody like Roger, who's a veteran of the honky tonks, and we get to see a reflective the, a peek into the inside, and man, that takes a lot of cojones for a, for a guy to, to let you see is, you know, the inside of it's it's wonderful. It's it's great to see somebody that's that much of a rowdy honky tonker turn in, and and you get to see the cool side.